What up, though? You already know how I go. Make sure you smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment as long as you comment. You dig? Let's get into this video, man. Brody blocked me. Um, Snoopy Badass. He blocked me because uh, I said, bro, uh, I still rock with you. You know what I'm saying? He dropped uh, like a picture or something uh, trying to explain his case. I said, hey, bro, we still rock with you, man. Like, you did what you did. But I, I feel like it, it's to a point where, like, it's delusional. He lying so much. He's starting to believe himself. And it's just all weird to me, man. Like how he's trying to justify what happened. And it's just, it's just funny, man. But I, I wanted to do a review of this uh, Adam Twenty Two um, interview with Snoopy and Wack, and uh, a little bit of Cam Capone's. I'm only gonna do a short ghetto version of it. I'm not gonna super edit it and chop it and stuff like that. The next videos I do it like that. But this one, I'm just we we gonna go through it. All right. So uh, let's 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 see what's going on here. Upset because you know he just went at me again. He was upset because I addressed who went the, at you. You <laughs> when mother <laughs> which one? <laughs> do you be high? Yeah, I do. See that guy? Uh, that down there. I agree. Don't take that up the stairs. So when he say keep it down there, don't take it up the stairs. It was a video that was a, that he Snoopy lied and said it was a skit. Guy pulled out a gun on him and asked him what he was talking. He was talking crazy, and he ran up the stairs. You could tell in the skit it was real. And y'all please mind and take take in mind that dude on high power medication, do cocaine, he he just out here, you feel me? So that's why I seem so delusional. But you're gonna see him tell two different stories about the skit. It being a skit, then it wasn't a skit, keep it in the streets, like he just don't know what lie to keep up with. But that's what he was talking about right here. I but I think that. what it is, he was at a point with me, it was Whack one hundred. Yeah. That, when you said it was a skit, you were lying. Look, you were trying to find no, no, a way to no, no, cover no, no, it up. No, 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 no. I, I'm gonna tell you like this. I just feel like some things don't supposed to be in the, be on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if somebody do pull a gun out on me or, or did do that to me, though, give me action and getting back on the streets. Don't rat on the situation to the f internet. So because if, if something happened to this nigga, who the fuck? Well, they really, he did not because we don't know who he is. Lie. Now you're going to send the Cam Capone interview. He's going to tell a whole different story. But ex exactly. Right. You know your problem. And I address this with your homie, right? Because mm -hmm. he said, whack. What I don't like is he came straight from the prison yard to the streets with no guidance. I said, I don't make sense. Him? Yeah. Tell me he hit the prison yard with no guidance and maybe some shit was going on in the yard. Then he got it right. Because if you walk the mother. Yard, mm -hmm. then you got some guidance, you got some education. So when you walk the prison yard, what he mean is like when you go outside, you go outside for your recreation, or you go to the gym, or you go to school, and you mingle with other inmates. There is always a father figure in there, big brother figure, whatever type of figure in there that you need from any community, from any religion. It's somebody on that yard that's gonna breathe wisdom on you, that lives to breathe wisdom on you, that accepted that they have natural life without parole, and they're trying to make the best of it. And, or, or they they the gangbanger extraordinaries and they're gonna teach you the game and all the politics. So it's no excuse if you in prison and you don't get some type of education from it. That means you're a complete idiot and you'll be back ASAP. You feel me with for, over nothing. Right? If you're on the yard with any homies that's, that's halfway solid, right? Hmm. And when you come to the streets, that's when you on your P's and Q's more than ever. His problem is, right? Now look, Wack about to try to make excuse for him after excuse for him. You know Wack do the selective politics. So he trying to vindicate what he did, to, like kind of not vindicate, but he trying to lessen the blow of what he did. He told, if you go look it up, Melvin Banks is his real name. He told at the scene of the crime, he told at the station, he told in the jailhouse interview, and he told in court. <laughs> you feel him? He totally ignores the politics. Mm. And and I and I can tell he's a renegade. It's not intentional. He's just careless. He's just, Even that. See excuses. Wack would never make these excuses for anybody else. He wouldn't make it for Boosie. He wouldn't make it for QCP and nobody else. But this guy power rule, so he gonna he gonna make it. Hey, why is you down there with slippers on? <laughs> oh, let's keep it gangsta. <laughs> why are the slippers the issue? Hey, but because that's, you don't, a, that's, a that's a violation. That's a violation. For y'all that don't know, prison rules, you don't come out with no slippers on. That's a violation. You can't scuff on slippers. There's no uh, grip on a, a slipper. Somebody can stump on your foot and uh, break break your toes. You bend down, give you an uppercut. 
So you never come outside with slippers on. It's a complete violation. Even in the world, when you gang banging and stuff like that, you got to have them shoes laced up tight, ready to go. You know what I'm saying? But what you don't understand is I've had bloods put this on me in public, too. I'm at the fucking Dumbo and slides in there on me. I was out of pocket. I was slipping. I'm dumbass. But snitches is defined as anytime you give information to law enforcement that's implementing anybody other than yourself. I didn't implement him. He implemented himself. Implicate. But you. How you didn't implement him and you said it and you told on him. But you collaborated it. Because. The, because, because the defendant asked me to. They said collaborated. He mean cooperated it, not collaborated it. Well, he collab. You could probably use, but he meant cooperated. That's what they meant. It ain't like he didn't say. It ain't like he was like, I don't want you to say anything. I don't want you to say anything. He he asked me to. The nigga that got on stand testified on his. He testified on himself. Said the same story I said. I got up there to collaborate his story, and. To come tell on him and not give you details like, hey, I was in the heat of the past. Hey, he drew a pistol on me first. Hey, it was a heated argument. He didn't do none of that, man. That don't even make remotely any sense. But you still got people like, you know, the few fans that he do got, they're still rocking with it. I mean, I don't mind you still rocking with him. I'm just saying don't rock with the lies. I love when y'all tell on each other and show to you the streets ain't what you think it is. The streets not this, this, and that. And, it, and if it deter anybody from seeing Somebody tell on somebody, I'm all for it. I'm happy. Go ahead. Yeah, tell on each other. I ain't tripping. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't abide by the street rules no more because it ain't real at all. If the streets are saying I'm wrong for that, I'm going to take that all to right, the so what I, I wish I would have never I, did I want that. you to go and uh, spot a little, got a little label, sign to him. What? Sign <laughs> to him, bro. I'm asking you to. You asking me to sign the Spider Lokes label? Yeah. Fuck no. Why would you want him to do that? I never. That's more serious than a motherfucker asking you to get on the stand and give a statement? You see how you was that serious yeah. about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga whack, bro. This nigga. <laughs> you right. But look, but like, but like, but like, about right but look at it. But look at though. All I'm saying is this. At the time that I was doing it, I didn't. If I would have felt I was doing some snitch shit. See, in this interview, he 100% agrees with Wack. Can't really go against nothing he's saying. But in the Cam Capone interview, he changed it all up, man, because he there with them old. Would have never happened. I thought, okay, I'm locked up on my own attempted murder. I'm keeping the silent with my co-defendant. Oh, this nigga want me, to, want me to help him say, tell them that he didn't kill me and he looked it scared when he kept the homie because he's trying to get his heat of passion. I thought. Any blood, any gangbanger, no, you don't get on that stand by any means. He knew fully what he was doing. I don't know if he was scared. Maybe he's trying to uh, co cooperate, do a backdoor uh, deal with the, you know, DA in case he get um, convicted. They give him a lesser sentence. I don't know what he was trying to do, but he was. I don't. I don't know. I, I can't tell you. Or maybe he's just maybe that off that he thought he was trying to help. I don't know. At the time, I thought I was doing the right so thing. So this dude that got come to find out, everybody. Well, not everybody, but. Uh, it's split. I mean, this dude is like to right anything thing. possible to try to Hold smear on. you. Hold and on. it seems so like the worst fucking take it possible to the job. I'm gonna so the dude the job. that got killed, right? Yeah. This was your homie? That was my friend. Your that friend? Was, that was Worm, yeah. He, he was and from the I, set. I already know where you about to go with this. No, he didn't bang. He didn't bang. It was he your was friend. He was... Look at Adam-22. He playing the devil's advocate. Adam-22 not dumb. He can listen to his whole thing like Snoopy, a telechair, but he's still trying. He's trying to stay on this good side and let Wack do all the extra stuff. Is my mic still on? Yeah, okay. He was, he was the square nigga we fucked okay. just with and all that. And this dude you ran into? Yeah. You ran into him where? In the county jail, shackled up in the holding tank. Yeah. Y'all got down? There, there was nothing to get down for. He came at me with a Bible. He was like, man, he's like, look, bro, I need, like. Dog, listen I know, to me. Uh, this what nigga is you was, saying even, right now? That Your I, homie gone. Yeah. You know what is happening. <laughs> yeah. Dog, you know how many homies? That's the story of our life. Squabbling with a, you shackled to the nigga? Y'all shackled together, Hell nah. but you were to take with it. So this dude whack your mans, whack me, whack your mans, right? And you talking about helping him? You didn't squabble with him, even if he was shackled up. You didn't spit on him. Y'all didn't have a kicking fight. Come on, man. Yeah, we was in the tank, it was like, it was, and it was just you know, you know, when we was all gonna get on the bus. It was like I'm shackled up. Yeah. And this is real with no disrespect. 
This ain't you for you, bro. Yeah, I already, already knew that, nigga. And, 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 and it ain't too late for you to make that decision because your mindset on how you see it and your decision making, I don't know if it come from lack of, of homies molding you, right? Right? And now look at him. He agreed. Gang banging in the street stuff is not for him right here. But on the Cam Capone interview, he gonna turn it all around. Delusional. This is somebody living in delusion. The, the, the grand doors of the delusion got him addicted. You know, this lifestyle offer apples that look pleasant to the eye. But when you take that bite, they feel a bitterness and yeah, this is the perfect example of how the streets weed you out. And if he was super gangster and he was a super shooter or a super killer or something, Nobody would be saying nothing about it. Nobody really would be calling them out in the neighborhoods or chasing them around or pulling guns out on them. But since he's not a super gangster, not a real street dude, real vicious, they're going to keep picking with him. And then, you know, he's going to try to bring up everybody. G Uno told this person, told this, 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 and that. And then that G Uno, man, G Uno ain't doing no numbers, man. He on Cam Capone only got 15,000 views on No Jumper, and I don't think he hit 100. <sighs> Now, I, and I'm thinking, I'm guessing you were split being raised in two different segments. If I got to take a guess, you probably got some L.A. Compton ties and maybe you was probably in the I.E. coming yeah. up. Yeah, of course. Right, okay. Yeah, I've see, said that plenty of times. See the difference is like little John over there. Mm -hmm. Now look, Wack about to make some more excuses from, oh, you from over here, you grew up here, you went here, you went there, so you might not been locked in. He making excuses for him. He not smart enough to understand it. Wack helping him out and he could have kept that relationship going, but now he just ruined it because people in his ear, he delusional, he off all this medication and drugs, he don't know which way to go. He's Compton. Yeah. That's all he knows, so his A to D is that, right? Mm -hmm. So you come to Compton at a certain age, I don't know what what age it was. I've been, I been in and out of Compton all my life. <laughs> yeah, my but then you in and out, so you leave this when it's this, and yeah, where yeah, it's yeah. totally different, right? Yeah. So it's like... Rap good, because I got the image. Y'all scared of what I can do if niggas get the f*** out my way? Is that what y'all niggas scared of? Feel me? Because it's niggas running around Bompton, niggas Crips, Parus, Bloods, all that, doing worse than shit than... Right. He made thousands of excuses for him. Thousands. It was like rap good, cause I got the image. Damn, you Randall from recess. You tell a lot. I'm like the Weight Watchers. I use my scale a lot. Stop with them shopping wall packs. You gonna be a seller or not? You ain't never send no bullets at them or trailer out. My bitch remind me of RJ. She always trip. They get into it with us to turn the sausage chips. They always dip. It. Yeah, we could do the same shit, but I say it different. My young boys Jehovah Witness. They be paying visits. Are you a player like you say you was for that pussy you paying pimpin'? Everything I put out so raw, you just can't sniff. I got the best O line, even on goal line, you can't bliss it. You not a hustler, you keep getting in front of, you just can't flip it. You ain't really got it, you P Diddy, you be remixing. Oh, where just got a new Glock, <laughs> that's a free biscuit. Penny Tupac know what's up, we know on the mill ticket. They probably for your music a little more if you real with it. I get that sniff sniff and put my heel in. You have PlayStation party meetings, I'm about real business. I'm a SCD, I'm here, you don't like it, gotta deal with it. I don't like that boat, but it's so low, I'ma still get it. If you drink it green, lean, take a pill with it. I hope every real nigga doing time get a pill with it. They say real, don't say they real, but I'm a real nigga. I ain't lying, even if I was blind, I wouldn't feel nigga.